except for in here where I get a few more minutes of air conditioning. All right, thanks, Bill. Well, on a typical Saturday, actress Lindsay Lohan might be trying to figure out which parties to attend. But no partying these days. As Lohan spends her first weekend in jail, we get the latest from NBC's Kristen Welker. So what's really happening in that jail and what happens next? Ian Drew is, okay, I know that you've known Lindsay personally for a long time, at least seven years, and you've even spoken to her during, going to serve the whole sentence. I mean, and in a sense, uh, sure, it's tough, but she's getting special treatment. She is an interesting example because after that, before that, Paris Hilton was the talk of the town and she went out and did her big interview afterwards and she's really not the talk of the town so much anymore, mm -hmm. professionally, so that she doesn't become sort of somebody that isn't talked about anymore. For her tell-all, you think that's right? Uh, that could happen. Drew, thanks so much for coming in on a Saturday spending some time with us. Yeah, absolutely. And still to come on today, Inception. Does the How's that for the insurance claim? Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, really, it was a whale. Yeah, well, apparently, everyone wants to know how the whale is doing. Now, no one can know for sure. It was apparently a teenage whale. It was a mere 40 tons. And, and they a lot think of blubber it was, okay. was on the boat, though. I thought it was Photoshop for sure. But to see the video actually happen. Wow. All right, we'll be right back. First, the circles under your eyes. Your body might be trying to alert you to a serious health issue. Here with some of the surprising signs to watch out for and what they could mean is Dr. Carrie Peter. We appreciate it. Good morning, Ariel. All right, I was preparing for this, and I went in and started looking at a mirror and investigating myself <laughs> from all angles. Uh, let's start with the eyes, though. Dark circles. I've had a lot of help covering those up this morning here in the make. Eyebrows, if you uh, have issues sort of right. right. And this is uh, not just eyebrows, but but thinning hair or, or if you have a lot of people it's sort of had a cracked corner mm -hmm. on the side of their mouth which uh, isn't just put on more more lip balm right and that's it is some inflamed gums in women this is a this one was an interesting one yeah <laughs> maybe one day <laughs> but you could have gingivitis which is thing okay yes. let's move to the skin small yellow bumps and bold what about uh, butt bumps butt bumps yeah before we go all this is gonna make a lot of people worry they're gonna go oh, I don't have enough hair on my eyebrow or a yeah. bump on my butt okay so <laughs> how do you avoid just going in and getting too many tests at the doctor and, and handling this without and thanks so much we appreciate it thanks Aaron all right and up next it's hot it's humid well, Alan Gonda was one row in front of Umar Farouk Abdumatalib and may have, and and what exactly happened you heard a noise right and then what did you do after I heard the explosion, yes, I was the first one to report the fire. To the man. So did he react as he was being severely burned? Did he say anything? When, when you got off the plane, uh, you, you were coming home. We should give people the, just your background. You're born in Congo, American citizen. Yes. Uh, coming home to visit your, your wife and family. And what actually happened. What did you tell her? She's seven years old. What about what you're going to do? Are you going to go back to where you were consulting in Africa to finish your project? Are you going to fly again? Are you nervous? I mean, I looks Arab or because someone's black now that they're going to get special screening. I hope they don't. For coming on and sharing your story. Glad you're back uh, with your, your family and your daughters. And Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you too. Alan Gonda. And once again, here's Lester. Legendary photographer Dorothea Lange once said, photography takes an instant out of time, altering life by holding it still. And with that in mind, we asked you, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't clean my throat today. We you asked you to, uh, to todayshow.com to vote for your most memorable image of 2009. Well, the votes have been counted, and here's a look at your favorites. You know, I know moving mm. pictures are the, are the staple of our business, but there's something about a still photo that just still allows right. you to really get inside a story in a way that sometimes moving true. pictures don't. It's amazing, too, the technology of the new angle. Yeah. Although the, uh, the underwear. It was a that great poor shot. guy, the thank God. Part. I'm back now at 8.09 with a look at the year that was. President Obama was inaugurated, the King of Pop passed away, and while Susan Boyle dreamed a dream that came true, for other celebrities, 2009 was a bit more like a nightmare. Here with their thoughts, Tina Brown of The Daily. We appreciate it. Uh, so many things to choose from. Tina, what do you think was the most important moment of 2000? <laughs> Tina, in terms of The Daily Beast, obviously you can see uh, from highbrow to lowbrow what people are... You know, it's only ending a year where everyone has crotch has been on fire. Oh, and I thought wow. I brought this she conversation has down. You, she has top. Uh, let me take a quick years. intermission here and uh, <laughs> just show our montage of uh, a view of the best stuff and we'll get your reaction. Here we go. Uh, you know, from, you, from highs to lows. You, know, you oh, didn't man. show the end of that wedding video. Those little things sometimes, though. <laughs> Thanks so much to all three of you. We appreciate it. Thank uh, you. Tina, Tina, Nancy, and Andy, and Happy New Year. And up next, when keeping secrets from your spouse, we have heard so much about Americans get too many tests, and sometimes you get a test and it makes you feel good, but it doesn't really do anything for you. We need a list of what we really need, sort of now more than ever, and get it checked out. And now, what about pap smears? I know there's been some changes also in recommendations for those. Right. The guidelines 
recently changed. We used to say every... But that's an area where maybe just getting tests all the time, it, right. not always necessary. It depends. Exactly. With any test, there's always a risk of... Now let's talk about skin exams. Uh, you had said about one million Americans are going to be diagnosed with some form of skin cancer in 2010. Yeah, this is unfortunately one of the cancers. Exactly. But when you're looking for things, is it still that you're always looking for something that is uh, shaped abnormally? Or sure. I mean, what's kind of... A, let's talk about uh, the... Well, we said gums to colons is how... Uh, <laughs> Right. <laughs> Lester was, uh, yeah. we were joking about it. So let's start with the gums. Obviously, yeah. you go to the dentist for teeth cleanings. You're supposed to at least a couple of times a year, but that's right. not enough. No, and we're now finding that... Sam is, is basically when they measure sort of the distance between the gum and the tooth, right? And they, they can are. tell it's uh, go down to the colon. Sure. Well, I'm a gastroenterologist. I do this yes. every <laughs> day. I look inside people's colons. It's But not least, a test a lot of people may not think of, but particularly for women, uh, could be very important. If you're feeling fatigued all the time, for example, it may be due to a thyroid problem. Thyroid disease. And again, as we hear about, don't get too many tests. These are the ones uh, that she thinks are worthwhile for 2010. We appreciate it. Thanks, Aaron. And still to come, we'll look back at the year we had and some of the fun you may have missed. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Natalie. It was mysterious and a kind of a strange place to be. And it took just a short harrowing flight on an unmarked and old plane. Iranian planes can't get parts easily due to international sanctions. But we got to the island just 30 minutes away. And this island isn't just a vacation destination. About 15% of Iran's uh, imports now come through there, Natalie. Even things they're not supposed to get. You also have smuggling, drug smuggling, and a former FBI agent, Bob Levinson, actually disappeared there. It was the last place he'd been seen mm. when he was looking into that. A good place perhaps to disappear then, right? Yes, yeah. very yeah. CNBC's Aaron Burnett. It looks fascinating. Thanks so much. Good you go to, to the see. strangest places, yeah. <laughs> but very cool. Just ahead, a stunt during a live reality. Friends, but decorating and entertaining often is distracting, and there are a lot of injuries. Dr. Carrie, P great to see you. Good morning, Aaron. So it, 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 just at least anecdotally, it seems that there's a lot more injuries and, and health issues of all sorts during the holidays. Is that just anecdotal or actually true? It is true. I mean, we have so many demands placed on and wounds, way more of them this time of year. There are. There's 6,000 ER visits a year with cuts in that because I think we've all sort of sat there mincing garlic or doing something and not watching where the knife is. Well, of course, your plastic is so thick. Mm -hmm. That's the place where you really need to decorating injuries. The Christmas tree is the center of a whole lot of wonderful things and problems, too. Let's start with the it decorating is. issues. So, yes, decorating really Related injuries or silver. Yes. All right. Now the other thing about a tree, I was thinking about this the other day, is, is fires. You know, a fires. lot of people get your trees early. The tree dies, even though you're putting water. I mean, is is it a real fire hazard? It is absolutely a hazard. There are just run your hand through the branch. All right. What about heart attacks? It, 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 this is another tragic thing. But uh, there are more of them this time of year than, than yes. any any time else. Why that, is that? That's right, Aaron. Uh, basically, stress. No. And this is a big question everyone has any time of year with a heart attack. What are the symptoms that would say, okay, I need to go to the hospital because of this? Rather than I need to go lie down. Yes. That's a key one. And and car accidents. Uh, yes. People, uh, it's snow. We just saw that pile up, right? It could be that, but also alcohol. Alcohol is uh, related. Much we appreciate it. Thanks, Erin. Happy holidays. A lot of this <laughs> common sense stuff that we all just need to remember. And coming up, two families, one... Well, we're in the final days of our 17th annual toy drive, and we're grateful to so many generous companies that have helped us get toys to children that need them. One of our contributors through the years has been Mary Kay Cosmetics, and representing the company today, what is Mary Mary Kay's donation. Well, this year, through the years, obviously, you've been generous to so many people, and Mary Kay is, I know, a big part of the Today Show. What's your favorites in terms of gifts? You hear, we're going to take a brief break. We'll be back with an amazing yeah, brunette. Great to be here, along with Tamron Hall. Good to see you. And coming up this half hour, a new diet plan that lets you eat what you like and still lose weight. Hmm. Hmm, really? Uh -huh. Yourself or eating out. Mm, can't wait for that one. Then, if you're almost done with your shopping and apparently You've got a family of 70. It so <laughs> adds up to about 70. It's kind of I've got two people, anyway, except for your favorite pets if they're still easier through the holidays and beyond. All right, plus, talk about making your life easier. We all want that. Italian cheesecake, I'm in trouble. So we'll oh, save some. Please. please. Come up. please do. I will. All right, in the meantime, Stephanie, what's the weather? All right, so good news here for the Northeast, not good news in the West, unless you're doing any.